Hi, I'm Kathy Kelly for Red Carpet Report, and we are here on the set of ABC Family Stitchers to talk to some of the stars of Stitchers, Recovery Road, Switched at Birth, and Chasing Life. Um, hi. So I was a huge fan of Greek. Oh. Does that make you like me more? I'm. It's turn off the camera. <laughs> We're done. We're going to talk about other stuff now. Um, but Chasing Life season two, congrats on that. Thank you very much. We're all so excited. Yeah. So, um, I mean, what can fans expect for this upcoming season? Um, I think it's going to feel, you know, it's, it's going to feel like the show that you know and love, but I feel like we're really going in a different direction with April's character. Um, that's exciting. I think so much of the first season was um, about April uh, and her career ambitions and kind mm -hmm. of what she wanted to do at the post. Um, and at the end of season one, she lost that job. She gave it up. Uh, so it's really kind of about this character who, who has placed so much importance on herself of, of succeeding professionally that that doesn't always mean your life, you know, is considered successful. If you, you know, are dealing with the stakes that she's dealing with, it's kind of saying, you know, do I want to spend, you know, every minute of every day yeah. chasing a, a story or do I want to chase life? Do I want to um, experience things I haven't experienced before? Do I want to travel? Do I want to spend more time with my family? So, um, so it's exciting. It's a really exciting season. I don't feel like we um, are having to limit ourselves as far as the stories that we want to tell. It's, it's, it's a whole new world for April. Yeah. And going back to last season before the show was even picked up and it was just a pilot, did you expect it to have um, that sort of pull that it has had with fans? I think um, <clears throat> I, I came on after the pilot was shot mm -hmm. and a, a, ABC Family had come to me given my relationship with them on Greek. Yeah. And they said, we have this show about a character with leukemia. And my first reaction was that sounds really depressing and I don't think I would want to do that. Um, but then when I watched the pilot that they had produced and, and the women who adapted it from the Mexican uh, format, Terminalis, um, what they had done, you know, was, uh, I just thought beautiful. It had a balance of comedy. It had a balance of drama. Um, so, uh, so I'm, I'm glad it's resonating with people. Um, I hope it can resonate with more people in season two. Um, you know, we, we took a bit of a hit in the ratings as far as, uh, the, the second half of our first season. Mm -hmm. So, um, I just really hope people give it a chance and, and don't have that same first preconceived notion that I had when I heard about the premise of the show and to understand it's really, it's not just about somebody dealing with a life-threatening illness, but it's yeah. about um, how you can live your life better and, and yeah. to the fullest and how it affects the, the, the people around her and her friends and her family. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed. Definitely. Well, we look forward to season two. Thank, Thank you so you. much for talking to us. Yeah, absolutely. And you know about Amber, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. You guys have a ton of guest stars on this season yes, coming yes. up, right? We're pulling out all the stops in a little two episode Greek reunion. So that's awesome. Yeah, it'll be great. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and leave me a comment saying what ABC family show you would want to be on.